Do you know about the Crookes radiometer? In 1873, a British scientist named Sir William Crookes was experimenting with the idea of measuring light pressure. He built a glass bulb with a tiny metal vanes inside. Each vane had one black side and one white side. When he placed this bulb in sunlight, the vanes began to spin. Crookes believed that the spin was caused by the pressure of light. But later in 1879, scientist named Osborne Reynolds discovered that the spinning actually happens due to the pressure difference caused by the heat, not by the light pressure. Let me explain. Inside the bulb, there is 99.9% .9 vacuum, but still 0.1% of the low pressure gas remains. Now you might wonder why not make it 100% vacuum? I will explain this at the end. As you know that the black color absorbs more light and the white color reflects the light. So when the sunlight hits the vane, the black side gets hotter than the white side. This heats up the gas molecule near the black side, making them vibrate more and bounce off with greater force. On the other hand, the gas molecule near the white side stays cooler and moves less. This creates a pressure difference between the two sides. That difference causes a tiny push from hot side to the cold side, making the vane spin. So the motion is not due to the pressure of the light but rather due to the heat differences called as a thermal transpiration. Now if the bulb had a 100% vacuum, there would be no gas molecule inside. So no heat could be transferred and the vanes wouldn't spin at all. That's why the bulb is filled with just enough gas, only 0.1% to transfer the heat and create the moment. While the 99.9% .9 vacuum helps to reduce the air friction. So this is how the Crookes radiometer works. I hope you like it.